Willie D. Live. So you never had to get a kidney transplant? No, I recovered. And, and, and you, you made a full recovery. Your kidneys are operating at 100% now. Nettle that's, leaf, that's good, man. That's good. Paul de um, you name it. I'm probably all the mushrooms, reishi, cordyceps, coralis, um, uh, there's a fruit that I eat. Sour sap was one of the major contributors to, um, just looking at burdock roots, sour sap, I started learning how to cook with them differently, how to incorporate them in my food. And not always, like a lot of times for me now, especially when I'm traveling, my food in the morning may consist of like hot tea with sea moss, then I'll do a green juice. Then I was going to ask you about sea moss. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, you know, there's a discrepancy. What's the most natural, the silver, the purple? Dr. Sabi's grandkids say silver. My elders who are from Jamaica say the purple. So the stuff that I order, straight, raw, to the point where it has rocks in the sea moss. So, you know, with everything, when it becomes big business, like right now, I used to love Whole Foods, but now I got to go on Whole Foods and question everything because now it's about... They've been lying, They've man. been lying, saying, yeah. so now you stamping organic, charging, you know, double and doing all the stuff, and a lot of the products aren't yeah. organic. Yeah. So it's no different than what, you know, what I feel the people who are trying to take over the farming industry is that they're taking the seed away so we can't grow anything ourselves. I want to jump in real quick, man, about um, you and your your insight, right? Like, I've been watching you for a long time talk, like not just sing, not just do interviews, but actually talk. A lot of times people have tried to t do interviews with you and they just want to talk about you being a sex symbol or they want to talk about the music or whatever. And here you go. Yeah, you know, I'm doing this for the youth and, you know, uh, you know, I, I want to be a, a, a conduit for, for the new artist. You know, uh, I'm, I'm working with this organization. You know, I'm, I'm doing music consulting. Like, have you all, I mean, you've been like that for a long time, but have mm. you always been like that as a person? Always. Yeah. Um, you know, honestly, bro, bro, like, I didn't fit. You know, like, I, I always joke when I was young. I said, man, there was a great artist named Bobby Brown. He was the king of all of us singers. And we openly admitted, like, when me and Al or when God rest my brother's soul, Joe Levert, we would be like, that little nigga Bob is a terrorist. <laughs> he is the king. Like, and I love him. So it was just like, you know, again, and I think we've gotten to a place where we in society, like, again, I'm 30 years past Don't Wake Me, I'm Dreaming. I'm 30 years past the Halle Berry, Stacey Dash, and every actress that was ever on TV in the 90s. I'm 30 years removed from that. And it wasn't something that transpired maliciously or feliciously it was organic it was esoteric we just all happened to be like classmates in the right place at the right time and you know i get on radio or something like that and because it's probably like especially if i do like national radio that's why i do love podcasts because you guys get to you guys get to impart yeah, what you want yeah like yours is like dealing with life and real issues yeah you know you willie d you've had another journey you you're not just gifted at music but this society will say you're good at one thing like for instance we just talked about beyonce do you think the only thing she's good at is looking good dancing and singing what if she's a better mother or, or what if she's not but here's what i'm saying and saying that why is this so greatly your concern it's nothing wrong with admiring her, Whitney, Prince, Luther, all of these great, iconic, hardworking, gifted individuals, including last year we had the 50 years of hip hop. So they finally, hip hop lasted so long that they had to celebrate it, not because they wanted to. Because we all remember, at least I do, I'm from the Bronx, when they were like, hip hop is, is the devil. It's a negative expression. It's this, it's that. And the people don't realize it ain't even really about color. What they're trying to misinform us is about our culture. We're not colored. We're melanated. We don't hate 
And I speak here now because you asked the question. It's like, yeah, I have always been like this. And the thing for me has been like, I'm probably the lightest, brightest one in the room talking about solidarity. And I made a record with the great Papa song, Crime and Poverty, No Humanity, Grudge and Envy, and Partiality, No Humanity, No Generosity. What we need, what we need is solidarity. The record label was like, you're fired. Yeah, right. They were like, you nigga, get the, f- <laughs> nigga, you are fired, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we told you to go put on the we first of all where's the barber <laughs> so now the actor comes up they're like where's the barber cut this nigga's curls into the gumby <laughs> and get him the genie pants call hammer and get this nigga in dance class because <laughs> this nigga can't dance <laughs> so it was always like if you're not willing to be this light skin cutie pie prince charming and there are elements to me that that's the way I'm if that's how you see me then obviously that's how God made me to you but I'm from the Bronx I've ha- I have a real life I have real kids I got a real mom I was really adopted I really grew up in the projects and the sad the sad paradigm is is that we exalt all this stuff like y'all don't even know rap a lot's one of my first inspirations you know why they owned it Because I've always been enamored with, yo, how do we leave school and not know about the great kings that look like us? Who's Mansa Musa? Who's Abu Bakari 1 and 2? What is the Malian Empire about? And why does all of their scribes and texts look like what Europe stole and said, this is ours, including Louis Vuitton? All the stuff that we say, oh, now Massa says this is what the great stuff is, and we don't feel good until we're in it. We don't feel good till we're in it. You could be the greatest star on earth one day, and if you do something and Massa puts out a report and says you're not a good person, then you they're counting on us saying you're no longer Will Smith to me. So you don't think Will has regular emotions just like me? Like if some dude keeps cat calling your wife, and I'm not saying that's what happened with Chris because I love Chris Rock too. That you know, I'm proud of Chris. Obviously, we started in a movie called New Jack City together. But the real truth about all of that stuff is what Kat's saying. We're so designed to go at one another, but the pressure cooker really comes from what we want to say about the truth, this paradigm. And when we get so big, the responsibility is, okay, if I drop this ball, if I'm Jay-Z, I'm Beyonce, I'm Will, I'm LL, I'm Latifah, I'm Janet, and I drop this ball, then what if they, because we don't realize someone else is going to take that mantle. But while we're in this seat right now, in this human suit, we got to do something to change the paradigm. And I've decided to small or big now it'd be great when I was in the hospital I'm not even gonna lie I made a covenant with God I said God if you give me an opportunity and I don't call him God I call him Yahweh so I'm, I, my whole rest of my life is about the truth my authentic truth you, 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 I don't go to shows and I'm sitting there going yo I'm a sex symbol I go to shows to communicate a song even if I'm rapping, don't wake me up because clean cuts dreaming. In a deep sleep, my mind keeps scheming. I heard she had a man. I said, so what? Because she be looking sweeter than a honey dip donut. That's just not, that was written for a reason. When I was 20 years old, that's how I felt. I'm, I'll be 57 in August. I don't feel the same 30 years later. I didn't feel the same 20 years later. That's why I, I dipped out. All the stuff they're saying in music now, I've been saying this since 91. It's weird that you're even saying this to me. Because I stepped out of music not because my record was whack, not because they dropped me. I dropped them. 